Hello, welcome back to our channel. This is Facts About Africa. So, in this video, I want to share with you some of Pan Africanists, their views on African leaders. Let us start with Professor Pierre O. Lumumba. Pierre O. Lumumba, whose full name is Patrick Lochi Otieno Lumumba, is a Kenyan lawyer, professor, and a political commentator known for his outspoken views on African government and leadership. Lumumba has often emphasized the need for good governance, accountability, and transparency in African countries. He has always spoken out against corruption, mismanagement of resources, and the lack of development in some African nations. He believed that African leaders should prioritize the interest of their citizens and work towards creating systems that promote socio-economic development. Also, we see uh, Pro Lumumba has emphasized the need for African continent to collaborate in areas such as trade security and governance. Lumumba, like many other Pan-Africanists, believe that United Africa is better equipped to confront issues such as poverty, conflict, and external influences that may impede the continent progress. Additionally, Lumumba has criticized the role of external influences, including the former colonial powers and international corporations in shaping African politics and economies. And economies. He advocates for African nations to assert their sovereignty and make decisions that are in the best interest of their people. That was Professor Peel or Lumumba. The next one, after looking at uh, Professor Peel or Lumumba, now we are going to South Africa, where there we found Julius Selo Malema. Julius Malema is a South African politician and the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, a left-wing political party in South Africa. Malema has often criticized that he, what he perceives as a failure in leaders across the African continent, he has spoken out against corruption, inequality, and what he sees as the exploitation of resources by political elites. Malema is known on his popularity and anti-establishment, erotic, and he has called for economic reform to address issues uh, such as land redistribution and economic empowerment. Julius Malema's views on African unity are often framed within borders discussion on economic empowerment. empowerment decolonization and social justice. Malema has also been critical of neocolonialism and external influences on the African continent, emphasizing the importance of African taking control of their own destiny. The next is the president of Rwanda, uh, Paul Kagame. Uh, president Kagame has been critical of what he sees as ineffective and corrupt leadership in some African nations. He has emphasized the importance of good governance, accountability, and safe reliance. Kagame has, uh, has also been an advocate for African countries taking control of their uh, destinies and relaying less on foreign aids. So while we know uh, President uh, Paul Kagame has urged that African nations should focus on building strong and self-sufficient economic rather than relying heavy, heavily on external aid. Kagame has expressed the need for African countries to take control of their development agendas and reduce dependence on foreign assistance. He often emphasized the importance of good governance, economic reform, and investment in the key sectors to drive sustainable development. Uh, on the other hand, one significant aspect of his advocacy, advocacy for UNITE is his involvement in African Union. President Kagame chaired the AU Reform Sterling Committee, which was taken with proposing reform of enhancing the effective of the African Union. The reform aimed at making the AU more effective, financially independent, 
and better uh, equipped to address the continent challenging. Pokagame has as uh, often emphasize the need for African countries to collaborate on issues such as trade, security, and development. He believed that a united Africa is better positioned to assert itself on a global stage and address the shared concern collectively. So this was some views uh, from different pan-Africanists. Uh, we see what they see in African leaders or the views on Africa in general. So let me end here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Thank you for watching.